The state of Florida's constitution requires a balanced budget, so it's not like they have a choice. They must balance a budget, and there's only two ways to balance it with a deficit, raise revenues or reduce expenses. They've said, and I hold them at their word, they're not going to raise revenues beyond the normal growth in revenues. In other words, no new taxes or new fees. And that's fine because I don't, as a Democrat, I don't support raising taxes and fees, particularly in a recession. And we want to get the economy back on track. So if they want to balance it without raising those revenues, that's fine with me. Of course, where do you find the cuts? Uh, when two-thirds of your state budget are in just two areas, education and health care, those are two very important parts of our state's economy. And if you make some cuts that have some serious consequences, that would be a concern. So we're open to making cuts, but my preference would be making cuts by, by for example, maybe merging agencies and reducing the, the number of bureaucrats as opposed to cutting vital services uh, such as our education and health care system. I was going to ask you if, if you as Democratic leader and, and Democrats will be trying to influence where those cuts will be made rather than just saying, you know, we're against the cuts. Definitely. I'm in a kind of a unique position. I'm the only former budget chairman, Democrat or Republican, in the Florida House. Because of term limits, all people who have ever chaired the budget are gone. And so I view my role as being kind of uh, the watchdog, but also to help. You know, we're here to say we want to look at certain things. Maybe we try things in the past that worked or didn't work. Uh, for example, I support the position on no member projects. When I was budget chairman, we eliminated turkeys. And they've said they're going to do the same thing. I, I want them to do that. If I don't get any member project, they shouldn't get one either. Uh, one thing we also did was we looked at agency budgets, and we tried to do it with a, a scalpel as opposed uh, to an axe. You know, across the board cuts never made sense to me because some agencies are more efficient than others. If you're going to make cuts to agencies, that should be done uh, the very specific uh, role as opposed to an across the board cut. So those are the kind of things we want to work with them on. Uh, we have the same interest. Uh, you know, when you cut education budgets, it hurts my schools as much as Dean Cannon's schools. So we definitely want to work with them, but we want to make sure they do the smart way and not just the way that may look like it's a politically expedient way to do it.